Well, the next video is about the matrix inversion lemma, the Shoe complement and the inverse of a partition matrix. You'll be needing this in Advanced Control 2, a course of the second semester, and more in particular on, in the course on model predictive control. So we assume here that we have a partitioned matrix A, and this matrix is square, and very important, we assume it has an inverse. So the matrix A is invertible. In this slide, we will assume that A11 here is invertible. So that's very important. A11 is a square matrix of dimension P times P. And A22 will also therefore be a square matrix and the other matrices are compatible okay so this means that if this one is p times p this time is q times q this one must be well it must have the same number of rows as a11 so p and the same number of columns as a22 and if you do the same kind of argument well you obtain q times p over here so the matrices are compatible then you can define what is called the sure complement and i've written it like this the sure complement a11 it's constructed on a11 as follows okay you see that it's well defined because we know that a11 has an inverse sometimes in well other references you see something like this uh, written okay so this sure complement is well defined and it will invert it will be invertible as well well then you can obtain the inverse of the matrix a by this equation over here which involves, as you can see, the inverse of the sure complement and the inverse of the matrix uh, A11. So I want to give you an idea of the proof. So remember that A has an inverse and it is partitioned as A11, A12, A21 and A22. So this matrix has an inverse and we want to find an expression for that and in this case a11 has also an inverse okay so then you can partition a as follows and the easiest thing to check that is to simply well compute the product of these three matrices and you will see that indeed it is valid so it's a good exercise of multiplying partitioned matrices so we have here the product of three matrices let's call them b c and d and we have a over here we are looking for the inverse of a so a inverse will actually be the product of the inverse but in reverse order so it's d minus one c minus one and b minus one okay this is what you obtain over here it is quite easy to see that the inverse of this matrix is given by this matrix over here so just multiply this one and this one and you will see that it is indeed the identity uh, matrix you notice that this looks a lot like the inverse of a two by two matrix in the scalar case but in this case it's in the uh, for, for matrices that are uh, in block okay so you have something quite similar for this inverse it's given by this equation of here and the inverse of a block diagonal matrix is also block diagonal with on the diagonal the inverses of the blocks okay so this one as an inverse this one as an inverse this was an as an inverse so this one must also have an inverse so this means that this sure complement over here must also have an inverse so this quantity over here is well defined remember that this is the sure complement a11 okay so 
how can you obtain an expression of a minus one well you just multiply these three blocks and you will see that you obtain the expression of the previous slide so if a11 is invertible and a is partitioned like that and has an inverse you can obtain the inverse like so so let's consider a very similar situation and a is square invertible and partitioned in the same way but this time we have that a22 is invertible okay so can we obtain an expression of a inverse if we know that a uh, 22 is invertible well you can follow the same kind of proof it's a little bit different and it will lead you to the conclusion that you can define a sure complement on a22 okay so here you see that the inverse of a22 is used so this sure complement s a22 is well defined and it has an inverse okay and again it is possible to construct and to obtain a formula for this matrix that is partitioned and that we know is invertible so the inverse of a can be written as follows so it will of course involve the sure complement based on a to two okay uh, it comes at a few places and also it will use the inverse of a to two itself well in the previous slides we had either a one one invertible or a to two invertible suppose we have both a11 and a22 invertible then we can obtain a matrix identity okay because we have two expressions of the inverse of the partition matrix a and we can equate some block matrices inside of the inverse of a first observe that this matrix is here the sure complement constructed on a11 and this is the sure complement constructed on A22. They are both defined and invertible because A11 is invertible and A22 is invertible. So if A11 is invertible, we obtain this expression of the inverse of the matrix A and we'll consider, well, this element 2 2 of the inverse okay and this one is constructed on the inverse of the sure complement s a 1 1 so if a 2 2 is invertible we have another expression of a inverse and again we can look at this element 2 2 of the inverse we have something here that uses the inverse of the sure complement based on a22 okay but in the previous expression of a minus uh, one if we now assume that both a11 and a22 are invertible well you can equate this element a22 and we say that this is equal to s a11 inverse and this leads to a matrix identity that we call also the matrix inversion lemma so this is the equation that we obtained and it's called the well matrix inversion lemma remember that a11 and a22 need to be both invertible and what we have done here since we have now two expressions of a minus one is to equate the bottom right elements okay so remember that this is the sure complement based on a11 and this is the sure complement based on a22 they both have an inverse since a11 and a22 are invertible okay so what you often find in the literature is a matrix inversion lemma that looks a bit different because there are a few changes of signs but this is very easy to see that this is also so true if you now define a to be a little bit different one two a two one 
and a to two and you for instance change the sign over here and you compute a minus one and you do the same trick and you uh, obtain two expressions you equate the bottom right elements what you will have is a change of sign over here okay because a of a12 you have a12 over here so you'll have a change of sign over here and you have a12 over here and you'll have a change of sign over here so this is completely equivalent to what we've written over here but it so happens that this is the one that you find most often in the literature when it comes to the matrix inversion lemma so this finalizes this short video on sure complements inverses of partitioned matrix matrices and the matrix inversion lemma